was once the target of violence. Tonight, this Kansas doctor takes lawmakers on a tour of his abortion clinic. Fast cars, great money, great fun. Racing in Kansas City, Kansas, a done deal. Some people will have to move to make way for the racetrack. How do they feel? The news starts now. From Kansas City's 24-hour news channel, this is Fox 4 News at 6. Revving up for racing, the deal to make tire-treading dreams come true crosses the finish line. New details in a deadly case of domestic violence in Kansas City over the weekend. 29-year-old Alvin Williams faces two counts of first-degree murder in the weekend shooting deaths of his ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend. But like so many domestic violence cases, this particular one had come to the attention of police before. Fox 4's Michelle Rooney joins us live now from the newsroom with the latest of us. And Michelle, you found out some disturbing new information about this case. That's right, Harris. Alvin Williams was free on bond after being charged with beating Nicole Thomas when he allegedly killed her and Robert Harris. Police records show Williams was arrested just last month after Thomas told officers he choked her, threw her down, and then stomped on her chest. He also told them he forced her into a car, saying, Tonight, we die. But when it came time for Williams to go to court last week, prosecutors say Nicole Thomas did not want to testify against him. I, I, we can't say that her participation would have saved her life, but obviously her failure to participate did not save her life. And that's really the message that we want other victims to think about. Refusing to prosecute these people will not make you safer. It will not give you any protection whatsoever. And it, you're not guaranteed to be protected if you do prosecute. But obviously, a crime has been committed. It's important that, that people who hurt people face the law. Now, there are a few things tonight that Prosecutor Claire McCaskill suggests. Uh, she says that the first 60 to 90 days after a breakup in a violent relationship are the most critical. She, suggest, she suggests maybe temporarily staying elsewhere, enlisting the help of family and friends, and call the police if you are scared or if you need help. McCaskill says too often women especially, but men too, feel like they can handle the situation. And unfortunately, they do not realize that they cannot handle that situation until it is simply too late. Harris, unfortunately, a story we seem to hear time and time again. Michelle, I know Williams was supposed to be in court today. What about those murder charges? Was he arraigned? He was not in court today because of a mistake with the paperwork. His arraignment uh, was delayed until tomorrow morning. Now, uh, just another note, police have moved Williams from the city jail to the county jail tonight because they say he tried to kill himself this morning. He is currently under a suicide watch at this hour. Again, he's set to be in court tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock where he will be formally arraigned on two charges of first-degree murder and also an armed criminal action charges. And Michelle, of course, Fox 4 News will be there to continue covering the story. Thank you very much. Reporting from the live newsroom. Mm -hmm. An abortion doctor handed out an invitation, and Kansas lawmakers are taking him up on the offer. The city of Wichita takes another step in dealing with the emotional and polarizing issue of abortion. Violent abortion protests in Wichita made national headlines six years ago. Today, some of those fighting to end abortion went inside an abortion clinic. Deborah Holmes has more from Wichita on today's unusual tour. Outside the clinic, familiar words and the rosary. Protesters praying for babies. Inside, legislators checked in as patients. Each was a woman pregnant with a child with severe abnormalities. These were real cases of women who'd been to the clinic in the past year. Simply because it is an emotionally tough issue does not mean that the decision needs to be taken away from the patient. Teller wants lawmakers to take the emotion out of the abortion debate and start focusing on the facts. For one thing, he says, partial birth abortions are not performed here or anywhere in Kansas. That's an entirely different procedure. A woman coming here will come every day for four to five days while labor is induced. Then doctors essentially deliver a stillborn child. And the procedure's only done after the woman's had extensive tests and been referred by a doctor not affiliated with the clinic. This is the area where our patients actually labor. The patients got a tour of the clinic and then counseling, medical, spiritual, and grief. The key, Tiller says, is to give patients the support they need to make the choices that they must live with. Patients make decisions. Physicians don't know enough, care enough, love enough, and we are not smart enough to make these kinds of decisions for patients. 
Though both sides of the debate were patients, few minds were changed. I, as a man, can certainly never experience the whole thing or understand the emotional burden that people face when they are faced with a complicated uh, pregnancy with which they desire to terminate, but it's a good experience to find out um, at least what the process is. I don't want to wish an unhealthy child on anyone. Uh, as a dad and father of four, I know that's a very traumatic and a very uh, difficult experience for them to go through. Um, however, to, to take action to, to terminate that life, uh, to me, is, is not compassionate and it's not love. But Farmer added the experience wasn't a waste because it showed all lawmakers the side of the abortion debate that's rarely seen. Deborah Holmes, Fox 4 News. Now more on our other big story of the day. Kansas City, Kansas could host a Winston Cup NASCAR race sometime in the year 2000. The International Speedway Corporation and the Unified Government of Wyandotte County agreed to build a 75,000 seat, one and a half mile racetrack on about 1,000 acres along Interstate 70, just west of Interstate 435. Everybody says, is the state giving anything away? Believe me, we're not. This is coming back. I will tell you the hard dollar, non-highway money, hard dollar will come back during the construction period. We'll regain all of that in income and sales taxes to the state. Here's the breakdown of the cost and who's paying for the track. The estimated cost of the speedway is nearly $197 million. ISC is investing $55 million in cash. The local share is $11 million. State incentives total $43 million. The remaining $87 million will be financed, and officials hope to break ground next spring. We'll take a closer look at what changes the track will bring in just a few minutes. Two men now on death row in Missouri also face a possible death sentence in Arizona. Dennis Gillicorn and Alan Nicholson will go to Arizona this week for another trial. They were convicted in Missouri for the 1994 killing of Excelsior Springs businessman Richard Drummond. Now they're charged with murdering a Kingman, Arizona couple that same year. With the transfer to Arizona looming, Skillicorn last week married Paula Barr, a former reporter for the Kansas City Star. Barr covered Skillicorn's Missouri trial for the paper. The Kansas City, Missouri Health Department says an area of the city may be experiencing an outbreak of rabies. A third rabid bat's been found, this time in the vicinity of 65th and Main. The bat was found on the floor of a basement last Wednesday. This possible outbreak of rabies the area for the possible outbreak, that is, includes 47th Street to Gregory and State Line Road to Quill Park. The health department's warning citizens not to handle bats when they're dead or alive and to make sure that their pets are immunized against rabies. Now the deal is done and a racetrack will be built in Kansas City, Kansas. We'll take a closer look at what the deal means for the metro area. Some people living in these homes could be moving. And that's just the beginning of the racetrack impact. More at 6.09 sure feels like the Gulf Coast is moving toward us. Is fall ever coming? We'll talk about that at 620. This is an easy place to get lost, but you also may find yourself here as well. We'll explain at 626. Now local stocks, the Dow is up almost 62 points. You're watching Fox 4 News at 6 with Harris Faulkner, Bill Witt, Chief Meteorologist Mike Thompson, and Sports Director Frank Paul. Three old friends thought their divorces would open new doors. Hi. Yeah, right. Is this the day? The day? As in the cow or the chicken? Janine Garoppolo, Matthew Modine, Randy Quaid, and Paul Reiser. You're very off what age for girls. What age is that? 12 through 35. Bye Bye Love, Tuesday at 8, 7 Central on Fox. Janine Garoppolo, Matthew Modine, Randy Quaid, and Paul Reiser. Is this the date? The date, as in the cow or the chicken. Bye Bye Love, Tuesday at 8, 7 Central. And here's your plate, madame. Why? At Old Country Buffet, you don't need a waiter. So, little lady, would you like to start off with a salad or perhaps some homemade soup? Soup! You don't need a menu. For your main dish, lemon pepper chicken or carved turkey. Oh, you are a delicate flower. Have some mashed potatoes. Who wants gravy? Mom does. All you need is a plate. You must have the hot fudge Sunday cake. Old Country Buffet, what's on your plate? <laughs> Having 
trouble getting the family to eat wheat bread? Try butter topped home fried wheat. They'll love the soft texture and white thin crust. You'll love the nutrition. Only one gram of fat and cholesterol free. Hey, looks like you figured out how to get the family to like wheat bread. Home fried wheat, the taste that brings healthy bread home. Taking a victory lap tonight, celebrating the decision to build a NASCAR Speedway. Kansas City, Kansas gets the checkered flag from International Speedway Corporation. Today's announcement means the Kansas City Raceway is now becoming a reality. Construction could begin as early as this spring and racing would start late in the year 2000. But what will happen to the city and the people who live near the proposed site? Uh, one major issue for Kansas City, Kansas will be avoiding traffic trouble. Here's the view from News Chopper 4. The racetrack seats 75,000 people and the ISC estimates the track will attract about 220,000 people a year. The track complex will stretch across 1,200 acres. The track itself is a one and a half mile oval. The boundaries are State Avenue to the north, Interstate 70 to the south, I-435 to the east, and 118th Street to the west. The main routes to get to the track are I-70 and I-435. And since it's being built right on the spot where State Avenue is presently located, State Avenue will have to be rerouted. We would like to model some of the traffic management patterns surrounding Truman Sports Complex and bring those here to this site. And we think that the infrastructure that's available will accomplish that. And what does the future hold for nearby homeowners with all that activity? Well, many neighbors say they're not all that worried about losing their homes when the racetrack moves in as long as they get a fair deal. Other neighbors say they're pretty upset over the Speedway plans. We've lived here 51 years, and it's not good. Our place really wasn't for sale. We had no intentions of moving. We're too old to move. And what does the racetrack mean for other projects in the area, especially the Land of Oz theme park? Yeah, plans for the theme park have been in the works for quite a while now. In fact, this proposed site for Oz is now the site of the Speedway. With the Speedway as a major attraction, other projects could be in the works to entertain the new visitors who come to our city. Uh, there's plenty of opportunity. There's land that's available for development. And if, if that project is viable, uh, we'd certainly be happy to work with the developer to that end as well. Now, the racetrack doesn't have to be used just for racing. Other cities use their racetracks for concerts and large gatherings. Arrowhead Stadium is the main concert attraction in Kansas City, but the Raceway could hold future concerts, too. And in the past, groups like the Promise Keepers have used Kansas City as a gathering place. The Raceway could become the new attraction for groups like that, too. Feel like you're just going round and round? Well, take a break with an ancient meditation practice coming to the Midwest. It's a 4,000-year-old symbol that's helping many people get a hold of their lives. We'll show you how coming up. And in sports for the Chiefs, what happened? We'll be back with that next. Introducing the new Go-Go Cup value meal from Long John Silver's. Down at the starting line, Big Bag Daddy Brian Dax against the hero guy, Long John Silver's Go-Go Man. And next is the jump. Long John Silver's Go-Go Man, Dak and Dax. Our Go-Go Cup boy has it under control. There's serious difference from the burger mobile. Ooh, and nasty eyes one. That's got to hurt. And Go-Go Cup is the winner. New Go-Go Cup value meal. Two golden fillets of fish, chicken, or one of each, and fries for only $1.99. They're the really fast value meals you've been missing. Questions on the morning commute? The only news chopper in town. News Chopper 4 shows you the jams live. All local, all morning long. The Fox 4 Morning News. To create chili magic, the folks at Bush studied hundreds of recipes from real chili lovers. For months, we stirred, we simmered, and we tasted until it was perfect. Presenting Chili Magic Chili Starter. Start with tomatoes and fresh ground beef, then just add Chili Magic for great tasting homemade chili. Mm. Awesome chili, Mom. Mm. Honey, who are those people? Bush's Chili Magic, created by chili lovers for chili lovers. Bazzoli's Fettuccine Fest. Fettuccine Carbonara, Peppery, Chicken Alfredo, and Fettuccine Sausage Supremo for a limited time. Lady? Sure am. Around this time every year, the guys at Midas get ready for their brake sale. Where you'll save 25% on any brake shoes and pads, guaranteed for as long as you own your car. 
So, for big savings, stop by Midas today. That is, if you can. The brake sale at Midas. Cleveland's dreams were renewed with the crack of Vizquel's bat. Now, it all comes down to one game, as O'Neill and the Yankees clash with Alomar and the Indians in a climactic Game 5 matchup, the American League Division Series, tonight. Yesterday's game in Miami was the last one the Chiefs have to play until Thursday night, October 16th. In fact, after today's practice, the players disappeared. They won't have to reappear until Friday. Between now and then, they'll try to put the Miami loss behind them and start anew as they prepare for San Diego on Thursday night, October the 16th. But putting the Dolphin loss in the rearview mirror may be much more difficult than they want to admit. They are a better team than Miami, but not yesterday. In fact, as Kevin Keatson reports from South Florida, the Chiefs may have gotten exactly what they deserve. Eventually, what comes around goes around. For the fourth time in six games, the Chiefs played one to the final whistle. For the first time, they lost. So much pain dealt to opponents earlier this year, so much pain felt in Miami. I was feeling really disappointed in, the, uh, in not winning this game. I think for a lot of guys, a lot of guys haven't won down here in a lot of years. And uh, I think that really you know, gets under their skin. But the really hard part to deal with isn't necessarily the loss. It's why and how the Chiefs lost. With 11 days to prepare for the Chargers at Arrowhead, the Chiefs say they just are not where they need to be. The offense that's looked so brilliant at times this year looked confused in Miami. Could it still be growing pains? Well, I think uh, it may be, but our time for that excuse is running out. That's right. No excuses, just solutions. And the Chiefs will have plenty of time to work on them all during the bye week. You know, things turn out sometimes in the way you don't want them to, and this is certainly one of them, but... Uh, there's tougher times for any football team than this, and we'll, uh, we'll do well if we uh, put it behind us right now and, and look forward. So what was supposed to be a little break for the Chiefs has turned into a working vacation. A little time off, then back to the hard work Schottenheimer's teams are famous for. The Chargers are ahead. The Chiefs just hope their mistakes are behind. In Miami, Kevin Keatsman, Fox 4 Sports. And tonight, the undefeated Broncos meeting the undefeated Patriots at Mile High Stadium. If the Pats want to stay undefeated, Broncos running back Terrell Davis better be out of focus. It's funny. My style is more of a Polaroid. When I'm running and what I see is more of snapshots. It's not a film, a continuous film. It's more of one minute I'm taking a picture, I'm here. The next minute, I'm here. Running styles combination of, of different runners. Uh, Tate Jerome Bennett's power. Um, you know, Curtis Martin, quickness and swiftness. Uh, Barry Sanders' creativity. Uh, you know, Ricky Waters ha has some, some things to ski jump. He has a uh, you know, stop and go, uh, the stiff arm, just things like that. I, I, try to, I try to take from them. As I'm watching them, I try to put that into my game plan on Sunday. When I'm playing video games, I, I look at the block, because they have plays that we actually run. So I try to run the same plays we run in our offense. And, uh, and then I'm looking at blocks as I'm running with the video game. So it's like reading, well, as I'm playing it, I'm reading blocks and trying to make uh, the same cuts and, and the same moves that I would do in, in real life. <laughs> so it's like you're on stage when you're out there. You know everyone's looking at you because they're not looking at anyone else but you on the field. That's okay. great, isn't it? Yeah. And that good. kid can play. Football kicks off at 8. However, baseball right here on Fox 4 at 7, the Yanks and Indians, the winner to the American League Championship Series, the loser takes over. Wow. Okay. All Good of a sudden turned into a very exciting series. Yes, absolutely. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Thanks, Brian. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Brian. Well, we're already a month into football season, and soon it may actually feel that way. Yes, yeah, summer is on the ropes, and fall may be on the way. Mike, tell us about the temperature. Still holding up there around 90? Yeah, we hit it today. We may be close again tomorrow. How long can this train keep coming? We'll take a look at it coming up next. Oliver! 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 Hey, kids. Penthouse Markets and Fox 4 invite you to see Andrea McCardle, Broadway's original Annie and Oliver, live at the Music Hall. And if you're 5 to 16 years old, you pay only $10 per ticket at our special Kid Kick Saturday matinee and Sunday at 7. Stop by your neighborhood henhouse and ask for your Kid Kick coupon today.
the kitchen and bath sale is still on at HQ. You can still save 15% on all special order kitchen cabinets. 15%? But you don't have much time, so let's start our shopping now. Nice, good, good. Oh, I like what they did there. Good, good, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, also save 35% on Elger special orders or save 30% on Kohler special orders. It's the HQ kitchen and bath sale. Ooh, very nice. Good, nice, good. Here's one from the Adams archives. We're bringing back an offer to put Adams in the history books. Wow, haven't changed a bit. And neither has this great offer. If you can push it in, pull it in, just get it in, your trade-in is worth at least $1,000, maybe tens of thousands on any new car at any Adams dealership. Yes, folks, history does repeat itself. And our friendly sales staff is waiting to talk trade. So hurry on in to Adams Toyota or Chevy in Raytown or Adams Ford or Chevy in Belton. Suppose you could save hundreds of dollars a month. Suppose you could cut your monthly payments in half. Suppose you could get a home equity loan up to 125% of the value of your home, so that even if you have little or no equity, you could still qualify for a debt consolidation loan. It's all possible, and it's all at First Plus. So call 1-800-510-PLUS, and First Plus will work first for you. Buy a room full of carpet at Big Bob's and get a room full of first quality wallpaper absolutely free every day of the year at Big Bob's. Degrees short of the record of 95 degrees. And as you can see on the map this afternoon, there's a little bit larger concentration of 90s up near this front. But this will actually not make it to us. It'll begin turning all into a warm front, lifting northward and siphoning moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see it a little bit better on the satellite view. The front is sparking off some showers and thunderstorms up in Minnesota and across the northern Great Lakes today. Will not affect the Cleveland area. There is the front right through there. However, what's happening is this moisture is feeding northward, and that'll be, be trailing that front northward also, and slowly but surely giving us an increase in cloud cover over the next 24 to 36 hours. And this is just the leading edge of a big trail of moisture that extends all the way down to a hurricane on the south side of Mexico. So there's a lot of moisture there to work with. There is another system out here that's moving eastward across the Rockies, and once the two combine, get a little energy going, I think we'll have a fair shot at some rain. That may not be until Wednesday night. So over tomorrow, we'll see that moisture continuing to flow northward into the front where showers and thunder showers will be occurring mostly north of the warm front. And that continues to lift northward tomorrow. And the cloud cover continues to file by mostly to our west. We'll see some straying in here, but it won't be all that thick. So we'll see partly cloudy skies on the average tomorrow. Then Wednesday, that front moves out of the Rockies into the plains. The moisture flows into that, and so initially the showers and thunder showers will form there. There's a slim chance something could fire up here Wednesday morning, but I think a much better chance that Wednesday night into Thursday will be our next bet for some rainfall and some cooler temperatures. So in the meantime, it's uh, warm and muggy, actually 55% humidity. The dew point's at 64 degrees, which you can feel just a little bit of that humidity out there. Winds are out of the south at 12. Current temperature's 90 over in Leavenworth, but everybody else is in the low to mid-80s. Maybe they're barbecuing over there or something. 67 degrees was our low this morning. Tonight it'll be down in about the same area, 68, maybe 72 in the downtown area. Tomorrow it'll be 82 by noon. We'll top out about 87. There will be a little more cloud cover tomorrow, but still those south winds, it'll be rather gusty. Tomorrow night a lot more cloud cover and 69 degrees. Wednesday a chance of showers and thunder showers, particularly late in the day and overnight Wednesday night. Thursday will be cooler and rainy with some thunderstorms, 69 for the high, but then we clear back out and rebound into the 70s and 80s for the weekend. So, wow. <laughs> I'll tell you what, summer may be on the ropes or it's coming back swinging. It's, it? uh, <laughs> it's not giving up easy this year. Yeah. I mean, it's okay. Well, I've got plenty to do outdoors. I've got to get my deck done, got to wax the cars. It seems and to me we wow. had a big October snowstorm a year ago that we don't oh, want to repeat. No. Right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll see. Right, right. Okay. Thanks, Mike. You sometimes feel like you're running around in circles. Yeah, well, don't worry. Relax for a moment. Just minutes. We'll show you one place that'll have you running around in circles, but all in the name of peace of mind. On the next entertainment tonight, Joan Collins. It was 
date rape. The star shares her shocking secrets of rape and abuse. He tried to sell me to an Arab sheikh. Then John Travolta finally loses control. And only E.T.'s behind the scenes to show you. Plus... He also um, melted fat that was under my skin. From her eyes to her chin, this TV star shares her plastic surgery secrets on Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 6.30 on Fox 4, Kansas City. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, uh, mind if I help myself? Come on. Come on now. <laughs> of course. Go ahead. There we go. Oh. Hardy's Monster Burger. Two patties, three slices of melting cheese, and eight strips of crispy mm. bacon. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's a lot of burger. You want the rest? Hardy's Monster Burger. It's big, even for the big guy. Go ahead. Gotta be that expensive salon look from Fantastic Sam's. Now at Fantastic Sam's, get a great cut at a great price. I want the blues, Kraft Mac and Cheese, because, because... Why do you want the blues? Mm. Kids can enter Kraft's I Want the Blues contest for a chance to win their picture on that famous blue box. Plus, big prizes. See specially marked boxes for details and say... Mm. one turns, they all turn. Safety in numbers, not always. When in danger, they can panic. The advantage of thinking for yourself lets you make clear decisions. It sets you apart and keeps you ahead. Mutual funds from American Century. Invest in our thinking. Looking for answers in a sea of confusion. You might be able to find them just by getting lost. Community Village outside Lee's Summit has constructed a labyrinth in its parking lot. It's a place for meditation. This is a look at the labyrinth from News Chopper 4. The labyrinth's open to the public. It's patterned after a medieval labyrinth in a French cathedral. Unity Village dedicated the labyrinth today, giving people a chance at a walking meditation. Just think, you don't even have to go underground for this labyrinth. You're, you're safe and secure. You don't have to get lost. You just kind of go around in circles and meditate. Yeah, just chill. Sounds I like a little that. sounds a little bit like the newsroom once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Running around in circles, only it's not nearly so peaceful and calm. I know. Every now and then, just for fun, we flip off the lights and watch them all run into each other. No, I'm kidding. That's our newscast. Thanks for watching. We have baseball on tonight. We'll see you at 10 o'clock on Fox 4 News. Good night.